Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over all of the new NHL 2030 cards. We got some big time young studs in the NHL that we're going to have to cover and some of them got really, really good cards. So we'll break that all down as usual. Guys, don't forget if you are a coffee drinker, go to kingscoes.com, 10% off your coffee purchases. It is the best coffee on the planet. Go get lamp lighter. Best blend you'll ever have. All right, guys, let's get into today's content. All right, we'll start down at the bottom as usual with the 86 PS Suter from the Blackhawks. Five foot nine. So obviously pretty tough in that regard, but does have light the lamp and howitzer. Light the lamp, obviously not one you're going to look to activate, but howitzer always makes a card usable. Uh, with 88 speed before distributor, not terrible, and his shot isn't bad either uh, off the wing. His hand stats are in the middle to high 80s. Defensively, I mean, at 5'9 with 87 body checking, you could do worse, but he's he's still going to have a hard time bumping people off the puck in the defensive zone. Um, not a bad card, and you probably get him for fairly cheap for anyone that's a free-to-play player, that kind of thing. Um, so a decent card uh, for left-handed winger early on in the game. Moving on to the 85, Stuart Skinner with Distributor and Heart and Soul. So Distributor obviously makes him pretty usable. However, 75 aggression uh, isn't bad. And for anyone that's got a, you know, needs a starting goaltender very early on in the game, I would give this one a shot. His glove high is pretty low, though, meaning that you might get picked apart upstairs. Um, but honestly, any cheap goaltender early on in the game is probably in that same boat. Um, so give this one a look. Anyone that gives him a shot, let me know. Uh, let me know how he plays. Next up, we've got the 85 Dylan Gunther with Wingman and Gladiator. So Gladiator actually helps this card out quite a bit because he's 6'1", gets his body checking into the middle 80s. Um, however, you know, 90 speed with ex or 90 acceleration with Wingman on, as well as 90 speed with uh, distributor activated, and a shot that's in the 90s as well. Um, not a bad card at all, especially for uh, a winger. And uh, the one thing is he's very slender, so he might get knocked off the puck pretty easily. Uh, but not a terrible card. Again, for anyone that's looking to upgrade from like a base card, this could be a decent um, decent one that will help activate synergies that aren't really important, but the, he, the, combo might, the combo might benefit you. Next up, we've got X-Shark. Great, the 87 Josh Norris of Magician and Workhorse. Um, so again, not a bad card. He's going to be a winger, not a centerman for you, even though he's listed as center with only 79 faceoffs. This is a winger card. And then that leads an issue with, you know, with the distributor activate, he's only at 88. So shot isn't anything special. He's built like a centerman, uh, but has really bad draws. So honestly, if this was, if this was a speed synergy instead of magician, it might actually be someone to look at. But if I got Josh Norris, I would sell him even if he would make my lineup. Then we got 87 Ryan Merkley from my Sharks. Passing playmaker again, one that you're not going to look to activate. But 5'11", issue is this is a good forward card. He's got 90 speed out of the gate, 93 acceleration. So for anyone looking for a decent card, like for anyone that uses the Eric Carlson base card, this is a great upgrade. Um, because he is fast. However, he is useless in his own zone. Under six foot with 79 body checking means that you are a very big liability um, on the side that you have Ryan Merkley playing. So watch out for that. But yeah, this is uh, this is a tough one. Um, very, very good forward build, just not a very good defensive one. I, I would try him out, though, because, again, Wingman is useful and he is fast. So I think that for anyone that's still using Eric Carlson, this would be a nice upgrade. Next up, we've got the 87, Caden Gool, uh, Caden Gooley, six foot three with Workhorse and Howitzer. Now, this is, like, again, this is going to depend if you have Spark and Distributor. Because if you have Spark and Distributor, this card is definitely usable, especially considering he's six foot three um, as a defenseman. That's great size, but without it, he is really slow. Um, and you're going to feel it because he is so big. 95 slap shot power, though, is nice. Again, this is a nice bridge card. For anyone that's looking from like a, you know, that goes from like more, a base Morgan Riley, something like that, and you're looking to upgrade, this is the kind of card that I would look at. Um, however, it just, you at least need distributor for sure before I would want to throw this in and play, you know, anything other than Division 3 and, and a below, so... Then we've got the Arizona Coyotes, Jacob Chikrin, six foot three, uh, with passing playmaker and shutdown. So again, not a very good synergy combo. And the fact that he's only got eighty three speed, this is a hard avoid. I mean, again, you could get away with this um, if you're someone who plays very passive and make sure that you don't take any chances with your defenseman. But you're going to get, at this stage of the game, with all of the higher-end cards out now, you're going to get absolutely blown by. If you do want to take a look at this card and try him out, I'd recommend you pair him with someone like Kale McCarr, someone really fast, or that Ryan Merkley. Um, but if I pack this Jacob Chikrin, I'd, I would definitely sell him. 
Next up, we've got the 88 overall Alexander Holtz with Howitzer and Light the Lamp. Uh, and again, not a bad card at all. Here's the issue. The endurance on this guy is really low, just like, just like Jack Hughes, but... He's only got 82 acceleration, so unlike Jack Hughes, where he's got you know almost near and perfect stats elsewhere, Alexander Holt still has you know rough endure or sorry rough acceleration um, for sure. So not a bad card. We'll be able to blow down the wing for sure. And again, this is going to depend on you know your makeup or what spot you're in for team building. But you know his shot is very very good, and you know you might be able to get him for a lot cheaper than you know uh, the prices will drop on these. By the way, guys. Um, so right now he's going over, here we go, 90K. If he got down to around 70, you might want to pull the trigger. But anything more than that, I would just wait, guys. Following him, we've got this Buffalo Sabres 88 overall, Dylan Cousins, six foot three with Thief and Magician. Now, if you have Thief activated, he actually is a centerman. If not, then he's going to be a winger. And 86 speed with no speed synergies is probably not going to do it for you. But if you can get Thief activated, you know, again, centerman is a position where you don't necessarily need to have a burner. Um, in terms of in terms of the speed and whatnot. So keep that in mind because if you have Thief activated, you've got a pretty good centerman here that you can build around because, you know, uh, again, he's very, very big, and that's what that's what's super important for the center position. The one thing I will point out, though, is endurance is 80. Again, speed is not all that important for a centerman, so just careful on that. I wouldn't overspend, but just keep an eye on it because, again, Thief on this card makes him very usable. Then we've got the 89 Capo Caco with Magician and Howitzer. Hard avoid, and the reason for it is 76 endurance on this card it just makes him a complete avoid. Um, it's awfully tough. I'm not gonna lie. I hope. I honestly hope that it gets adjusted. That being said, it doesn't matter how fast your guy is. If he's 76 endurance, he's gonna basically run out after half a rush. He's got great shooting stats. You know, um, your body checking is only 81, but he's six foot two. Stick checking's great. Hand stats are awesome as well. It's just. You know, even with synergies on, like, you're just going to be in a rough spot here. So, uh, this is a sell for me on Capo. Then we've got the 89 Noah Hannafin with Shutdown and Gladiator. Again, um, a combo that I wouldn't really want on this card because he's already six foot three with 89 body checking. Um, but you can get him up to 95 body checking before any other synergies. And 87 speed and acceleration means that you're going to touch 90 with Spark and Swarm um, activated. Slapshot power at 92. You can get it up to 87 um, and 95 with these two activated. Really not a bad card. And again, it kind of bridges the gap between, you know, the high-end left defenseman like the, you know, Miro Heiskin in, um, you know, those kind of cards. Um, and, and team of the year headman, for example, this is a nice one. I mean, I'm assuming he's going to go for well over 200 K right now. Um, oh man, this is actually super cheap, man. This is a nice buy. I'm not going to lie guys. I think people are overlooking the fact that at 90, 90 speed and 90 acceleration with spark and swarm activated. There is a lot of cards now that have shut down. <sighs> man, I had a feeling this would be over 200. Wow. I would wait. This means it's going to drop even more guys. If it gets, man, if it got to like 80K, that's a great price, guys. Watch this card over the next uh, couple days for sure. And then the big guy, we got the 90 Alexi Lafreniere, six foot one with Magician and Workhorse. Workhorse saves this card because, again, he's got base 82 endurance. So while Jack Hughes, again, it, it, people are going to bring that up probably in my comments. Again, Jack Hughes has almost perfect stats elsewhere. Um, so you can kind of get away with it. And honestly, because he's so small or a lot smaller, you don't feel it as much as someone who's a little bit bigger and, and a little bit sluggish. Um, if you have Workhorse activated and then Distributor and Spark as well, this card is very, very good, especially for left-handers because, again, I feel like lefties are still in a spot where they're not nearly as potent as the right-handed counterparts. Stick checking is great at 93. This is a very, very good card. Now, he is, his name value is going to carry his market price. We'll take a look at it. As yeah, there's no way, guys. Remember, Tim Stutzla was going for like five, six hundred k, and before today, you know, he was he got dropped down to about four hundred. I saw some people sell him for under four hundred k. Um, I would watch that. Is Stutzla if he if you see a Stutzla go for under four hundred k, I'd buy him up because he's probably going to sit in that range because he's no longer available. So keep that in mind, guys. So that is going to do it for the NHL twenty thirty event. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Make sure you subscribe for daily, the most up to date daily NHL content. I'll see you guys next time.